Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And quite a few people have asked me to comment on this and I guess they don't realize that I actually commented in Chris Jones's video already saying that he had some really good points and I think it's one of the best videos of his I've seen in a long time. And this is video right here, I'm gonna link it here, I'm gonna link it down below. But people are asking me questions, saying, hey, is Chris saying that body part splits are better? What do you take on this? Guys, you did not listen to his video. A lot of you guys who are asking questions did not listen to what the man said. Now, a lot of you guys know that Chris and I agree on some things, we disagree on some things, that nothing we disagree on is worth getting pissed off at each other over. It's just not worth it at the end of the day. It's nothing serious. But you guys know that Chris likes split routines, things like push-pull legs, things like that. And he doesn't like full body stuff, whereas in I would like to see 95% of the training world on full body. I'm on the other extreme, I think full body is amazing. I think full body is the way forward for most people and I think body part splits are the stupidest shit ever invented. So we're on opposite extremes there, but what Chris said in this video ties it all back in together. And I actually found myself in complete agreement with what he was saying in this video. I was just nodding going, damn, he's making some good points. And his point was that, one, everybody has genetic limits. People don't want to accept that. And all you guys who think you're going to look like some fitness model on the cover of a magazine without shitloads of drugs, you guys are fucking stupid. I hate to say it, but you guys are stupid and naive, if you honestly think that. But... <laughs> He was pointing out that people have natural limits. Over the years of natural training, you're very quickly going to slow down. You're going to get to a point where you're gaining almost nothing anyway. So if something's more optimal than something else, it may not matter over the course of five or six years because you're going to be making such small gains by then anyways that did it really matter if you gained a couple more pounds of muscle here or there getting up to that point. It's all going to balance out in the end. You're all going to reach pretty much your rough natural limits. He's right. I can't really argue with that. And he pointed out that irrespective of how you train, what type of split you run, whether it's a body part split, a push-pull legs, full body, upper to lower, whatever sort of system you use to organize your training, we can argue all day long about muscle protein synthesis, but if you are not consistently progressing, you're not going to be consistently growing, no matter what your muscle protein synthesis uptime looks like. And he is right there. And it doesn't matter if you take two guys who have roughly equal genetics and they're in the same spot and you put them on two different training systems from there. You could pick any two. He just picks two. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter what split you put each two on. And if one of them starts out benching 175 pounds for eight reps and squatting 280 for eight reps and he's still doing that three months later, he's probably not going to get any bigger. If he's still doing that six months later, he's probably not going to get any bigger. But if the other guy consistently improved all his strength, all his lifts, improved his overload, and he's all of a sudden benching 225 or 235 for six or seven, eight reps, and he's now squatting 325 for eight reps, he's going to have put on noticeable amounts of muscle size, thickness, and the other guy is still probably going to look the same. And that was his point, is that having an optimal system that times everything perfectly and is the most well-written scientific system versus one that isn't, doesn't matter if you're not progressing. If you're not increasing your overload, increasing your workload, improving your strength levels, you're not really going to make gains. You're still going to look the same. And that is the point he made. I completely agree with that. I think that is something that anyone who has worked with real clients or real athletes for any period of time, everybody in the business realizes this. Anyone who would argue otherwise probably really doesn't know what they're talking about. They have not worked with people in the real world if they don't understand this. But in this particular case, Chris made a video that I really liked. I thought it was a good video and I really found myself in agreement with him on his major points. And even though he and I have opposite extremes on one aspect of training philosophy, I think this video ties it back in together and we'd see eye to eye completely on that. All right guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.